Good morning. So what am I up to this morning? Uh, this is just a quick video. I didn't plan it, but um, I, I, I've made these pancakes. Uh, this is like my, my fourth time making them and they're delicious and I wanted to share the recipe with you guys. Uh, and these are my coconut flour pancakes. Uh, they are delicious. Um, I, I have another pancake recipe that I have a video on which, is, which are almond flour pancakes. They're also delicious, but some people um, are maybe allergic to nuts, so they can't um, tolerate or use almond flour or anything, you know, nut related. So we take the almond flour away. <laughs> and these are just plain um, coconut flour pancakes. Now, um, what I love about these pancakes is that I found a, a this, delicious extract this is an imitation maple extract so maple flavor and who doesn't like maple syrup on their pancakes right maple syrup is delicious however uh it does have a lot of sugar there's a lot of sugar in maple syrup uh, although it is good for you but if you are looking um if you're you know keeping your 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 sugar intake um, down or you're doing a low carb diet uh, low carb life, lifestyle, then you really want to stay away from maple syrup. But you like, but you know, the flavor is great. And that's what this extract does. It gives you the, uh, fools your palate into, or in your mind or your brain to thinking that you're having maple syrup on your pancakes. And I love it. So it's really the amount of maple syrup, I'm sorry, uh, the amount of maple extract that you're going to use in your batter is going to be pretty much up to you. Okay. Depending on um, how much of that flavor you want to come through. I use, generally use between two and three teaspoons in my batter. Um, so I'll tell you what the ingredients are. And as you can tell, I've already been eating some, have some over here, <laughs> but I'm making some more. And this batter is going to make anywhere between eight to 10 pancakes, depending on, you know, how uh, many, how small or how large they are. These are pretty, you know, medium size. I just want to check on them. Yeah, they're almost ready to flip. So. I am using uh, in this batter, and I am gonna have the recipe uh, below the video, so you guys um, can, you know, can have the details. Um, as always, I'm using coconut milk. Uh, I like this brand; so delicious. It's it really is really great. It doesn't have a a very strong coconut flavor, so for things like this. Um, I really like to use it. I, I love canned coconut milk too, but for things like this, I do like this brand. This is the unsweetened, okay? So I have, I'm using a cup and a quarter of the coconut milk. I'm also using um, eggs, of course, and I'm using one large egg and two egg yolks, okay? And I know sometimes you, you know, we all make like uh, egg white um, omelets in the morning, things like that. So. If you have those leftover egg yolks, you can use them in this recipe. So one large egg, two egg yolks. Uh, so it's really nice and, and rich batter. And um, again, high in fat, okay? All right, so those, uh, the eggs. We also am um, using a pinch of salt and a teaspoon and a half of baking powder. Uh, the coconut flour we mentioned already. I wanted to mention this brand right here. I mean, I'm not sponsoring anybody. I just wanted to let you guys know that I'm using this and I really, really like it. Um, they have different blends of, of sugars, of sugar substitutes, and this one's really nice and sweet. Not really, I haven't really noticed any aftertaste like with just stevia. This is stevia and erythritol, okay? It's a mix of that. And I used only a half a teaspoon of that. If you wanna use more because you like them sweeter, you can, but you have to be careful because you, these substitutes are really strong. Okay, so that's in there as well. And so um, another thing that I added to this recipe uh, for structure is xanthan gum, uh, which I don't really use a lot, but you know, it, it, every once in a while it's okay. I found these little packets, 50 cents, okay, at my local Walmart, so it's pretty good. I don't have to buy like the bulk xanthan gum because it's really expensive and I don't use it that much. So uh, I used only a teaspoon of that. And that's what I did. I mixed everything together. I put in the xanthan gum at the end because, you know, I, I didn't want it to become gummy right away. But I did let the batter sit a little bit uh, before I poured the pancakes. So these are ready to flip. Let's try to flip these. And so you can see what they look like. If I can do it without 
<laughs> hurting myself. <laughs> there we go. All right, these two kind of stuck together, but that's okay. We'll flip those as well. There we go. <clears throat> so you see the xanthan gum, you know, since there is, you know, we're using coconut flour. There's no, none of that, um, gluten, okay, and the regular flour provides. So, you now these could use a little bit of help because whenever you, you're working with uh, gluten-free gluten -free flours like the coconut flour and almond flour, it really, you know, it, it's, it becomes very, they become very delicate. So when you try to flip them, most of the time they're gonna like, you know, come apart. So if you don't wanna use the xanthan gum for whatever reason, you don't have to then, but you just have to keep in mind that it's gonna, you know, it's gonna, you have to be very, very careful. They're gonna be very extremely delicate. And so um, you see, I left them to cook on one side for a good three to four minutes. And my heat is on medium the whole time. And uh, what I put on my pan was a little bit of ghee, which is clarified butter. And I also used the coconut oil spray. Okay, so I alternate. Um, I just, you know, I like the flavor that the, the ghee gives it as well. And it's, again, it's another high fat component. So these are really, really, really good. Um, again, the maple flavored really comes through. If you want to use more than two teaspoons, uh, maybe once you mix the batter, uh, make one or two pancakes or make one and taste it and see if, if you feel like you want more maple flavored, just a lot, add a little bit more extract, okay? For me, two to three teaspoons is enough. And it really does make you feel like you're having uh, maple syrup on your pancakes. Now, how I eat these, I mean, uh, we all know we can top pancakes however, however many thousands of millions of ways. What I do particularly, and I have this sugar-free syrup. I mean, I don't, I don't particularly like sugar-free syrup. I just don't like all the stuff in it. Um, but I do, you know, my kids will have it, my husband will have it, and I'd rather have them that than the maple syrup all of the time because of all the sugar. But anyways, uh, I have found a really delicious way of, of eating these pancakes. Um, and what I do is I grab about, maybe about two tablespoons of, of the ghee or butter, whichever one you, you prefer. Um, and the, the, the butter alone just gives it a lot of richness. Put it in a little, like a little saucepan, okay? And put it on my stove, or you can put it in the microwave too and then add a teaspoon or half a teaspoon of the maple extract, okay? And if you wanna, you know, sweeten it up, you can use the sugar substitute like the one that I'm using or any other sugar substitute that you prefer to taste. Just heat it up a little bit and make enough so that you know how much you're, you know, depending on how many pancakes you're having and how much you want on it. Um, and just heat it up a little bit. And that makes a delicious, delicious maple flavored um, syrup. Okay, that you know that you can have uh, as an alternative to to maple syrup and to you know any other syrups that maybe have too much sugar and other additives. So that's just um, just an idea. Okay, you guys can top your pancakes however you like. I just wanted to share this recipe with you because it's really delicious and I've been enjoying it. I've already made it like four made them like four or five times, and my family likes them too. So uh, I hope you guys try the recipe. The full recipe and instructions is going to be. On the below the video so you guys can uh, try the pancakes please uh, like my video please subscribe um, and I do appreciate you watching my videos uh, liking them and subscribing them please do and uh, that way you can enjoy any of my other great recipes that I come up with every once in a while bye bye have a great day